Emotional selling versus logical selling. You know, there's two ways to work with buyers. I want to give you a technique as far as working with buyers. This might make a big difference for some of you. Let me, I need to ask you this question, though. Do you have basements in the properties that you show, yes or no? Some. And in those basements, do they have cracks in the walls? Now, when a buyer sees a crack in the wall, does the buyer freak out sometimes? They do, right? See, let me tell you something. With, you and I can, when, as far as listing and selling, there's two ways to approach it. There's the emotional approach and there's the logical approach. Help me out. When you're working with sellers, should you be emotional or logical? When you're working with sellers, should you be emotional or logical? Log you sh with sellers. It should be logical, yes? You're a marketing director. You're taking this product. You're in charge. You're trying to promote it. But when you're working with buyers, do buyers buy with emotion or do they buy with logic? They buy with emotion, but they justify it with logic. But it's all an emotional thing. Are you all with me? Yes? So now here's what happens. Now, men, don't get mad at me, but this is why women are better at real estate. Yes. It's true. And it's not because you're more emotional. It's because, no. No, it's because men are too darn logical. See, let me show you what happens. Every buyer in the world, they have these invisible antennas put in their heads. These antennas are designed to find the crack in the basement. Now, when they find this crack, here's what happens. The buyers go down to the basement. They go, oh, the antennas go up. Oh, there's a crack in the basement. It must be flooding. There's a water problem here. Now, here's what men do, because men, we think we've got to have an answer for everything. Yes, ladies? Yes or no? And if you're not sure, ladies, at the end of the seminar, I want you to ask any one of the men a question about anything, and they'll give you an answer. They won't know what the hell they're talking about, but they'll give you an answer. They'll go, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. So now here's what happens. You're showing the property, the buyer's intent. They go in the basement if there is one. The intent goes up, and they go, oh, there's a crack in the basement. It must be what? Help me out. Flooding. Now, men, here's what we do. Because we got to know. Ah, that's no problem, you see. You just go outside, you dig up a big ditch, you tar the wall up, and you fill the ditch back up. <laughs> you knock that out. Does that handle it for the buyers, yes or no? No. Now, here's what you ladies do when you're showing property. You're going through. <laughs> Now, what happens, you go down in the basement, the antennas go up, up, oh, there's a crack in the basement, it must be what? Help me out. Flooding. Now, ladies, I love what you do. Even though you know the answer, you go like this. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. If, is that something you can fix? And the male buyer goes, oh, sure, you just go outside, you dig up this ditch over here, you tore the wall, I'll fill the dish back up, knock that out there. And then the ladies go, oh, he's so good. Yeah. Men, calm down. When you're working with buyers, you just got to have fun, yes? 